Okay. Oh, Project 64, why do you do that? Displaying these parts off screen, but I think the rest of the game is fine. I don't even know. Here we, here we, here we go. So they're finally here. Performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Put your hands together if you wanna clap as we take you through this monkey rap. Huh, DK. Donkey Kong, he's the leader of the bunch. You know him well, he's finally back to kick some tail. His coconut gun can fire in spurts. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. He's bigger, faster, and stronger too. He's the first member of the DK crew. Huh, DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong is here. He's Kong's got style. So listen up, dude. She can shrink in size to suit her mood. She's quick and nimble when she needs to be. She can flow through the air and climb up trees. If you choose her, you'll not choose wrong with a skip and a hop. She's one cool Kong. Huh, DK. Donkey Kong, he has no style, he has no grace, this Kong has a funny face, he can handstand when he needs to, and stretch his arms out just for you, inflate himself just like a balloon, this crazy Kong just digs this tune, huh, DK, Donkey Kong, DK Donkey Kong is here He's back again And about time too And this time He's in the mood He can fly real high With his jetpack on With his pistols out He's one tough Kong He'll make you smile When he plays his tune But Kremlings beware Cause he's after you Huh DK Donkey Kong, huh, finally, he's here for you, it's the last member of the DK crew, this Kong's so strong, it isn't funny, can make a Kremlin cry out for mummy, can pick up a boulder with relative ease, makes crushing rocks seem such a breeze, he may move slow, he can't jump high, but this Kong's one hell of a guy. Huh, come on, Cranky. Take it to the fridge. Rit, 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 rit. Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Rit, rit, rit. Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh yeah, walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh wow, the song got interrupted by an orange bomb of sorts. Oh man, that was quite a song, wasn't it? Anyway, greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I'm the Sporkinator. Welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Now I'm gonna be quite honest. This is not exactly my favorite game, but it is a ton of fun, and it's special to me because it's the very first game I ever played when I got my N64, because I bought it used with the expansion pack and with Donkey Kong 64, and also this Let's Play was requested by my younger brother, so that's another reason I have for doing this. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this a 100% run, although I would like to, because you get a different ending if you get every single like, golden banana in the game and stuff like that, so we'll just have to see how it goes here. Well, without further ado, let's not spoil too many things. Let's go ahead and hit start and get this thing started, right? Yeah, there's Donkey Kong. Pick up that barrel. Pick it up. There you go. Lift with your knees. Woo! So this is the main menu. We've got Adventure Mode. Options, which I may want to review here. Screen size, normal, chimpy cam free. I'm not sure what that means. Reset high scores, of which there are none. I deleted all my save data before beginning this LP, so everything should be fine. We're gonna have story skip off so that we actually do get all the cutscenes in the game. The game has a few cutscenes, if you want to call them that. So that should be just fine. Anyway, we can adjust the sound, but I don't know. Let's see what we have here. Stereo. How do I change it? 
I'm not sure what button I pressed. Uh, let's see now. Main stereo? Oh, up and down on the control stick seems to change things. Oh, I see, surround, mono, and stereo. Okay, so obviously we want stereo here. No reason for anything else. Music volume, I, I guess everything's fine. Well, without further ado, let us begin a new game. Yeah. The emulator has all kinds of issues with this game, but it's still playable, so that's the good news. And I do apologize that this video is going to be mostly the opening rap and the opening cutscene, but that's how it goes. I think the cutscenes in this game are actually quite well made. They set up the story properly and everything, as far as I can tell. I mean, the story is nothing to brag about, as you will see in a bit. But, you know, it's nice that Rare and Nintendo put... I guess Rare, whoever, put so much work into this game. You, you can tell, it really shows. It's a collectathon game, as you know, it's similar to Mario 64 in a way, but most people compare it to Banjo Kazooie, a game that I have played a little bit, but only in emulators, and I didn't actually have that one on my N64 either, so I know that's a shame, but yeah. Okay, so this is where things start to get ominous. There's some kind of ship approaching, if you can even call it that. It looks like a giant lizard. Dun 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 dun! Just gonna say right now, this cannot end well. A ship of that size almost looks like it would be... I don't know if the word's top-heavy, but... It's vertical, like, that's really weird. How can that even work? Ah... <laughs> uh, it's almost like a hamster on a wheel, it's so cute! Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Oh, it's not mine to keep. Okay, then. Ominous hand, ominous hand. We've got ominous hand. Also camera clipping into something green. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. Soon Donkey Kong and his pretty little island will be no more. I love K. Rool's sinister voice. We all know that's King K. Rool if we have played earlier Donkey Kong games, which I'm assuming most of you watching have, but I could be wrong. But yes, that is King K. Rool, the bad guy. Everything's fine, it's fine. See, it's fine! You just hit it with your head a few times and it works again. Uh-oh! There goes the alarm! Uh, guys? Oh, wow. I feel like the cutscene did not play out properly, but I have no idea. Oh! Did that ship just crash directly into that rock? You had one rock! And you failed to dodge it! Really? <laughs> oh, that's just sad. i tell you what. Dun 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 dun! Oh, that's great. Again with a sinister voice. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, that looks like it hurt a lot. I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hoard of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, your excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> oh no. I hope for your sake you're right this time. No. While you'll be busy looking for your precious golden bananas, fleeting friends, I'll be preparing my visit flavored surprise. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, there it is, the menacing laugh that I love so much. Brock! Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, come quickly, they're gone! Brock! They're all gone, Brock! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we have control of Donkey Kong now, so this is where the adventure truly begins. So let's go ahead and step outside, shall we? There's DK's place up in the tree. He even has a sign on it to let you know whose house it is. Guess I'm Donkey Kong, so this is my house! Mark, your precious banana horde and all the other Kongs have vanished, Mark! I can't find them anywhere. DK, you better go and tell Cranky the bad news, Brock! Well, that's my best parrot impression so far. Oh, man. Well, the adventure begins. So, let's go and see, see if we can't find Cranky's lab. There's the training area. We can't go there yet, unfortunately. We have to speak to Cranky first. So, there's a sign pointing us in the general direction of Cranky's lab. Is It, it is, in fact, this way. And if we hold the duck key and press B, we can do this rolling attack. They don't ever tell you about this, but it's very handy for gaining a little bit of extra speed from time to time. Anyway, welcome to Cranky's lab. Well, if it isn't my lazy, good-for-nothing son, lost your golden bananas again, and where might your flea-bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I'd have thought you would be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Luckily for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having any until you've completed my training barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you've done them all. Rude. Uh oh, Donkey Kong's having polygon issues. That's another thing the emulator does. Oh gosh, that looks horrible. What did Cranky mean about training? Donkey all confused. <laughs> oh, that's just precious. Oh, man. Anyway, let's get going to the training area now and get that done. It is this way, so here we go. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, probably five of them. Let's go ahead and start the first one. This is basically tutorial stuff. It's not the best thing ever, but A, hey, whatever. Mark, press Z to dive underwater, then press and hold A, or B to swim at different speeds. Pressing Z will act as a water break to slow you down. Prove yourself by collecting the coin at the bottom. Mark. Okay, so the water controls are arguably pretty terrible, but at least they're consistent. So I figure if you play this long enough, you could probably get good at it. But there we go, we only had one coin to collect. I know later on they're gonna make use of this again and make us collect multiple coins, but I'm getting way, way ahead of myself. All I know is that I hate swimming in water collecting coins. Let's hope these other bonus burial these other bonus barrels are less of a torture. Holy crap. Mark, pick up the oranges and hold Z, then press C right to throw them. Just throw five oranges and you're done in here. Mark! Alright. So I think the best way to go about this is just to pick up all five oranges at once and then throw them all. So there we go. Hold Z, press that five times. And that's it. We are done. Did I get rid of them all? Oh, I still had one more. My bad. Haha. -ha. Well, well done! You know how to follow directions! Why, thank you, good sir. Thank you. There is another one around here, isn't there? Maybe there is only four of them. Oh, nope, there's five. I think I've done three of them so far. No, I've only done two. It was the swimming, then the oranges. Good lord, Spore, get your act together. Mark, press B to pick up a barrel. Press B again to throw it. Pick up and throw five barrels to move on. Mark. All right, easy enough. You can just throw them against the tree. Because I think it doesn't end until all the barrels actually burst. So that is arguably the really smart thing to do. There we go. And the fifth one. Why, thank you, sir. I do know how to follow directions from time to time. Yes, I do. Woo! On to the final training barrel. Without hesitation. Oh gosh, this looks fun and a half. Mark, 
Press A to leap from one vine to another. And R when holding a vine to face the other way. Press Z to drop from a vine. Now go and collect the coin at the end of the vines, Briar! All right, up we go to the top of the tree. Grab the vine and swing our way over to the coin. It is just that easy. Oh, wow, it let me jump in midair. air. That's amazing. <laughs> I tell you what. Boom! Brock, hurry up, DK. Go and get that potion from Cranky and let's get going, Brock! Very well, Squawks. I will. I will do just that. So let's roll on over to Cranky's lab, just like this. And finally get the thing we need to progress in the game. Good lord. Aha, here we are. Humph. You took your time, donkey. Jungle Rust set in, did it? Here, drink this. Simeon Slam. Buttus Bashium. Oh, that's one thing I love is the scientific names they give to these things. Quote scientific. Right. You and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing A to jump, then Z whilst in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. I'll see you later, if you're lucky. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, Cranky. Let's get out of this area. Oh man, I think the way out is through the tunnel. I'm not sure. That's what the sign says. Yeah, it says way out. Oh, by the way, I wanted to get a high resolution texture pack for this Donkey Kong 64 playthrough, but after a little bit of searching, I could not find anything. So for now, we're just using the default textures. So we slam the switch and the door opens before us and we can finally get out of here. Squawk, he's back, DK. King Carol's Island is just over there. Brock, he must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off is that island with a cave on it over there. Brock! Gotta be careful not to skip his dialogue because I kind of do want to read it all. It's fun to do the parrot impression. So yeah, that island with the one pad in front of it is our destination. Now... All of these pads are supposed to be partially transparent because we haven't activated them yet. But the emulator's just not showing it correctly. Anyway, find a similar numbered pad in the same area and press Z to banana port between the two. So yeah, these are basically warps that we can use once we have found both ends of them. So we just want to go ahead and activate all five of those. And then swim across the water to that island with the one on it. Yes, indeed. And before we head into the cave, let's step on this to activate the other end, and I will demonstrate warping when we return after doing whatever it is that we need to do in here. Okay, he did that roll automatically. I did not do that, I swear. Whoa, he's huge. Boo hoo hoo. Oh, hi. My name's Kay Lumsey, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island full of cute monkeys, so I said no. <laughs> K. Rool says I'm too soft to be a Kremling, and I'm to stay in here until I've toughened up. I'll do anything to be free again. Hey, little monkey, perhaps you could help poor old K. Lumsey escape? Oh, go on, I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, Donkey will help K. Lumsey. Oh, it's so weird to me having the main character have dialogue because that doesn't happen in Super Mario and it doesn't happen in The Legend of Zelda, but Donkey Kong 64, it does happen. That's just weird to me. It's fine, though. Wow, so K. Lumsey gets excited, starts rumbling the ground, and what's this? He's actually managed to unblock an area for us. Very handy indeed. Oh, K. Lumsey's so happy now, but K. Roll has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rool, though. This has to be our little secret. Got it. I got it. I'm good. I got it. 
So now that we have activated both ends of the banana warp, we can press Z right here, and we warp straight back to the other end. Very handy indeed. You do have to do a lot of walking in this game, but at least they do make it a little easier on us by giving us warps in the overworld and inside of the various levels of the game. So here we have our very first golden banana. Donk, donk, donkey Kong. Yeah, we're hot stuff now. Let's head in here. Oh my, what do we have here? I believe we have the entrance to the first level. But first, let's kill everyone. Oh gosh, who's this guy? Over here, you dumb ape! I'm the mighty bee locker, and don't think for one minute you're coming in here without showing me some of your stupid golden bananas. If I disobey that old fat old fool K rule, it's the big sawmill in the sky for me, so pay up, pronto, and I can get my wooden butt out of here. Oh gosh, the beaver's trying to sneak up on me. Good lord. And I think these doors actually give us hints. Go ahead and step forward here. Don't be afraid, young ones. It's only me, Wrinkly Kong. My body may have passed away since Donkey Kong Country 3, which I admit I'd never played, but I'm here in spirit to help you defeat those naughty crocodiles. I can use my supernatural powers to reveal to you and your friends where that rogue K. Rule has hidden some of your precious golden bananas. You can come and see me wherever you see my face. Don't be shy now, dearies. So if we speak to her again, we will actually get a hint here. Get DK's coconut shooter from Funky's store and use it to hit the coconut switches. I forgot to read that in her voice, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get b Locker out of our way. He requires one golden banana, which we do have. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas and I'm out of this dump. Very good, very good indeed. Well, guys, that does it for now. On the next episode of Donkey Kong 64, we step through this big DK door in front of us and begin the first level, which I believe is Jungle Japes. So, I thank you for watching, and may we meet again in the future.